Well, hello everyone, and welcome to to my a part of my kitchen. Uh, today, I'm going to head out in the forest, hopefully some autumn colors. Um, I'm just the plan is to to finish my breakfast, and then we'll uh, get some groceries before we'll take the train, mm. next train, and then a bus to go to Huaralid, uh, so it was a national park in, in the southern part of Sweden. Uh, and for whatever reason, <laughs> I decided to do this vlog in English. Really don't ask me why, but um, I expect to have uh, two days of, uh, of auto colors and hopefully, hopefully a break in the clouds. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna meet with, up with some friends and uh, enjoy the season. Let's get to it. So two and a half hours approximately by bus, train, train, bus. And we finally arrived here in at Söderosen. Oh yes. And my man uh, Björn and Jesper has joined me for the for a day or two. I think Björn is just planning for staying the day and Jesper and I will be sleeping out here tonight. Uh, and I do have some plans for the evening. We'll see, see how much, how bad that turns out. But, but the college is just, just simply amazing. Just look around. So we're heading down the valley where we can actually see the, we can follow the small river. Uh, trying to get some slightly longer exposures as well as, as the colors. It's looking amazing, really. <laughs> So there's been like a ton of people in the forest today. It's, it's, it's Sunday, it's uh, it's a national park, you know how it is. It's autumn colors full of people. So, and it's been, on top of that, it's been raining. So it doesn't have been much filming done today, but man, look at this. So the sun has just, just fallen just below the, the hills over there. And man, we have these, like this fog is going around the valley and it's just amazing. I didn't expect any contrast whatsoever in the in the cloud today. I always thought it would be so just just cloud, thick thick clouds. But this is nice. So we had like this leading line all the way through, and I got my grad on. So bringing down the sky even further. It's a nice. Uh, it's a nice nice last light. And we'll see what the darkness has coming cope for us. Uh, and the plan is now for uh, one of us, Jesper and me, to be standing with the cameras uh, and working the shutter, while the other one is running around with a giant uh, flashlight. So we'll be illuminating the the entire area. So the plan is that we have we have the uh, uh, camera set up in front of a small lake. Uh, this lake, I can I can show you. I, it's rather dark now, so you can't see it on the camera. But here's here's a photo of it. Uh, so we'll try to walk around, walk around the entire little lake, uh, illuminating all the the trees and the vibrant color in it. Uh, I have no idea how this will turn out. Probably pretty bad, as most of my ideas. But it's at least uh, something to do during the night. 
when it's when it's so dark out. Uh, right now I'm on my way to find some nice to shoot during sunrise. The sun is about to go up in 15 20 minutes or so. And I've been walking around for hmm, 30 minutes or so, 40. Uh, trying to find something nice to shoot. And it's, I emphasize that I try to find something nice. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Here's a here's a what section. Need to focus. Foot there, foot there, foot there. Made it. So landscape photographers always say that oh, I need to find myself a good composition, and composition is about everything. To me, that feels too formal. Okay, I'm just a guy out in the woods trying to appreciate what's around me. So talking about composition, it seems, seems just seems so informal. On the contrary, I'm just trying to find something nice. Uh, I go to, I see something and there's, is it good? Is it not? Or is it a maybe? So yes, no, or maybe. That's kind of the three things I have to work with. No, it's a, it's a no brainer, I just leave. Yes, it's also a no-brainer. I took up my camera, take a photo. And the maybes are the, the most interesting in like 90% of the cases. Is when I have to go there. See, here's something that catches my interest and then I have to do something about it. Work it. Try different lenses, try different... Oh, I almost said it, compositions. But I don't. Look in a different, look in a different direction, a different view angles and such. So right now I'm trying to find something good, something nice. And I'm walking alongside uh, the ridge and trying to find, I don't know, a chance to see through this layer of, of trees just before the ridge starts so I can get a nice view. Or just some freaking colors. And I really don't know what I look for. I hope I know when I see it. But man, there's a long drop down there. If it was a bit more north, I would probably go ski here someday. I'll continue the hunt. But we'll see, I don't want to walk that much further since I've left. Yes, but in the in the house that we slept, which I will show you later. Uh, but, oh, here's a, maybe it's a nice way through here. So I can look at the valley. Uh, so I don't want to walk away much further. I, I think I've been away for an hour or so and just continuously walking further and further away. So check this out. I find, oh, I found a little path. I, I'm just gonna set my camera down. I don't know how it looks out there. Now, camera secure on the tripod, far away from me, that usually means being safe. Check this out. Check this out. Not that bad though. It's so... <laughs> you have these... These spots of dust, but there seems to be... Mist all over the place, because it's not that sharp, it's like... <laughs> it's like the clarity has been put down on all the scene. But even though I thought it was very cloudy, it, at least some contrast in the sky. I don't know if you can see it on the dynamic range of the GoPro, but... There is some, some, some contrast in the sky. That, that's often good enough for me at this time of year. So actually, even though it's kind of looked like... Looked like whatever we shoot last night, I think I'm gonna... Stay here and take a photo of this. 
So I'm heading back to the to the small house that Jesper is. Uh, I don't know if he's still sleeping in it. Uh, to try and get some breakfast. Uh, and my girlfriend just called saying that she was supposedly to be out here in two hours. And I have at least half an hour back to the house. It takes at least one hour to go from the house back again this same route down to meet her. So that an hour and a half, which leaves us half an hour tops to uh, it was faster to go up here to pack our things up and eat breakfast which is which is a stretch we'll see how it goes <laughs> So we got back to the place where we stay in this night. Uh, had some breakfast. I picked Jesper up, uh, and we're heading down to the like the central spot of the national park. And I've been looking through when I was walking back to the hut. I saw this place, and I saw that. And I said to myself, "This, this is a photo I want to take." And when I got here now, there's an person, I won't call him idiot, but I think he is one, <laughs> that completely ruined what I had in mind with the parking the car just like that, like in the middle of it. So we'll see if we can go up to the car, not destroying it, but maybe look the other way and see if we can find something nice in that direction instead. Maybe. The light isn't perfect, but it's still worth a shot, isn't it? It does look good. So I just put on the the uh, automatic uh, <laughs> microphone settings right now. I just want to be quiet and so you can listen. All the drops. Pretty nice, isn't it? So here we are just, just a week later and I just finished up the, uh, the photo of uh, shot in the darkness with the flashlight. It ended up being like 50 or so layers which I just stacked together uh, and it was fun doing it. I'm not particularly, I don't find it particularly good. It's not my best image, it was, it's nice, but it's not, nothing, nothing that special. I have some ideas for, for future light paintings such as this, uh, which might improve it. But it, it was good fun and it was a, a really nice weekend. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. <laughs>